If you've invested a lot in your turntable, tone arm, and cartridge, you definitely want to make the most out of it. In these tutorials, I'm going to show you how to make your turntable sound awesome. Hi, my name is Lauren from Analog Magic, and today we will be talking about azimuth. Azimuth refers to the horizontal balance of the cartridge when viewed from the front. This in turn determines the angle at which the stylus sits on the record groove. The theoretical assumption is that when the cartridge is perfectly parallel with the record surface, the stylus will sit perfectly in the record grooves. A good starting position will be to align the head shell so that it is perfectly parallel with the record surface. A good tool for this job is the Acoustical System Smart Stylus Acrylic Block. This allows you to visually gauge the cartridge body versus the parallel lines printed on the transparent acrylic block. For a rough setup, most people will stop right here and think the job is done. If you want a precise setup, the job is far from over. And this is where analog magic comes in. All phono cartridges are made by hand, and therefore the stylus may not be actually perfectly perpendicular to the cantilever or the cartridge body. The actual stylus is very small, and it is literally impossible to visually determine how it is actually sitting on the record grooves. Assuming if your eyes are good, and you are able to set azimuth visually, it is still based on a static setting. Once the record starts spinning, your azimuth will immediately be off. On this diagram, you will see exactly what we are trying to achieve with setting azimuth. On the left, you have the stylus sitting perfectly in the record grooves. When the azimuth is set incorrectly, such as in the middle and on the right diagram, notice how the stylus is tilted slightly to the left or the right. This will result in left channel signals leaking into the right, or vice versa. This leakage between channels is called crosstalk, and it is expressed as a negative decibel number. The Analog Magic software offers a scientific way of determining azimuth based on measuring crosstalk between the left and the right channel. Using the Analog Magic software azimuth function and the test LPs, take readings of the crosstalk for both the left and the right channel. If the left is greater than the right channel, twist the cartridge slightly by approximately one degree and repeat the measurement or vice versa for the other direction. An optimal azimuth setting is achieved when the difference between the left and the right crosstalk numbers are as close together as possible. You may have to go back and forth a few times to find the right azimuth setting. All cartridges will have some inherent crosstalk between channels, but higher quality cartridges usually have a lower level of crosstalk. On high quality cartridges, you can achieve a crosstalk number of within 0.5 decibels between channels. It is important to note that azimuth is also affected by anti-skating. So, if you are unable to achieve a satisfactory azimuth number, you may need to check anti-skating, which we will talk about in another tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to watch the next one when we learn how to adjust the vertical tracking angle.